Hello, and welcome to an LP of a game I've never really honestly played very much. It is by uh, Eaglesoft, and I can't... I honestly don't know who published it for them at this point. Anyway, don't tell me where a man doesn't belong out there. The man belongs wherever he goes, and he'll do plenty well when he gets there. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and let the cutscene take over. This is the over. story of the ultimate dream. Man's dream. A dream of escaping from the confines of his own planet. A dream of freedom within his own universe. A dream of reaching the stars. The first frontier was Earth's gravity. Their first target was to reach the moon. Powerful rockets soon challenged this frontier. But I've loved this series ever since I X2 the threat. However, another barrier soon faced them. The restriction of travelling at the speed of light. I'm gonna talk in between his... For many years, research was undertaken. Until man's ingenuity created jump gates. You know what, I'll just... Shush. I'll be back in a bit. These devices allowed spaceships to travel many millions of light years in one leap. Now, man's exploration of new systems and universes could begin. Colonization of new planets was difficult. Adverse planetary conditions, difficult terrain, and the shipping of materials made building difficult and very expensive. Again, research and invention supplied the answer. A powerful robot was created to terraform the planets and construct colonies. Once the terraformers had completed their work, the colonies were ready for man to live in, and many settlers traveled to new lives among the stars. As the years passed, man spread through many different star systems. But during this passage of time, the terraformers began to develop their own intelligence. They began to think for themselves. deadly and destructive war ever fought. Man's far-flung colonies were taken by surprise. Many were destroyed in the first attacks, and soon the terraformers were preparing their final attack on Earth itself. Only a small group of brave pilots saved the Earth from annihilation by tricking the larger terraformer fleet into chasing them through a hidden jump gate. Both fleets disappeared, never to return and the jump gate was destroyed. It took man over 500 years to recover from the destruction brought by their attackers. 500 years in which man once again was confined to his home planet. But the dream never died. For ten generations, scientists struggled to regain the stars, and eventually a new type of spaceship was created. This ship, better known as the Experimental Shuttle, is the first ship in which it is possible to bridge vast interstellar distances without the use of a jump gate. The prototype is now ready to be tested. And with that, we shall begin. So yes, welcome to uh, Let's Play X Re uh, Beyond. Oh, god damn it! No, All systems are go. <sighs> that's are not what I meant. Ah, oh, bugger. Sorry for a moment, failing. But yeah, welcome to X. Uh, the, 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 the. X Beyond the Frontier. Uh yeah, I've loved the series ever since uh, X Two, the Threat, which is the one that I ended up playing the most. I ended up getting a disc from a charity shop, believe it or not. I'll 
the start of the game. Um, but yeah, I got the disc from a charity shop for something like two pound or so. So yeah, it was actually really quite nice for uh, what it was. Essentially, I was just like, oh my god, it's so cool and stuff. And yeah, I ended up playing it for hour, well months and months basically every day. I came back home from secondary. So yeah, didn't even have that great a PC. It was just a great game that ran really smoothly. Speaking of which, I'm probably going to have a look at and try and figure out if the FPS is as low as OBS is reporting. This is control to X Proto. All systems are go and we are ready for launch in T minus 20 seconds. OBS is reporting All like 10 frames. Ten, uh. Nine, eight, seven, it's really difficult six, to record us, I'm just saying five, that right now. Four, three, Systems, report. All systems are go. Comms. We but the ship right now is very floaty. Vital feeling. signs are good and normal. Acknowledged. All stations stand like, by for prototype. I'll start procedures. roll. Okay. Okay. And then let go. X pilot, let's do the standard procedures from the top. First, the basic acceleration, deceleration. So it's extraordinarily floaty. I could skip the training, capacity. but. It gives lower story. By pressing the accelerator button or use the throttle control in your and controller. It's a motion. You know. Do not attempt to touch any other controls in your accelerator. Nope. In Sorry. order to conclude the test, you need to accelerate to maximum velocity. Ready? Count down to acceleration. Three, two, one. Accelerate. Nice work. I also know how to use it, but it's time to make speed up to Proceed to the next step. Commence deceleration by pressing your deceleration button or use the throttle control in your controller. Count down to deceleration. Three, two, one. Decelerate. Well done, pilot. That concludes phase one of our test procedures. The next oh, okay. test is basic maneuvering and navigation. It's designed to make the pilot feel comfortable with the steering and to obtain physical feedback of the usability of the controller. Oh, yeah, design. it's very floaty right now. With a three axis control device. See what I mean? Because, like, turn, let go. Sideways and to rotate it turn, let go. Are, of course, also available so, yeah, your it's very heavy control. feeling right now. Feel free to try out the controls while we prepare our monitoring equipment for the test. It's not the nicest we'll feeling right now. I think that'll probably be upgraded seconds. with rudder, rudder extensions later, I'm guessing. I've played this up to getting to the first station or so. You know, I just thought I'd say that that's basically what I've got to. I don't know if there's anything else that's interesting, honestly. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to try blazing through this one as quickly as possible, get to X2 and then go to X3 Rebirth, which is the one I didn't really play that much. I didn't play Rebirth as much as I played uh, The Threat or Aldean Prelude. You know. Anyway, whenever the game's ready, we'll start off with our run. Yeah, we, we kind of need to wait for the game. It's basically trying to get us used to flying after all. Up, pilot. It's time to proceed. I hope okay. you have the time to accustom yourself to the controls. Oh, why the accustom myself to begin at coordinates 103-45. Oh yes, our HUD. Uh, right side, you have your speed. You the location is above no, left side even. By the lines attached to the you have your speed. And right Please side, you have site and we on the top, the test run. weapons Please fire. Here. And Please on the bottom, shielding. To a complete halt and align your craft with the first array of Kessler rings situated along the maneuvering route. All stations report. All bio readings are still normal, sir. All communication systems are operative. We are detecting slight turbulence in starboard engine, sir. Oh, Nothing turbulence vital. in starboard engine. solar winds to be the cause of interference. Systems are go. All right. This is where you would All cancel the test. The You're Kessler gonna be flinging me across pilot. space. This test requires you to pass through the Kessler rings one at a time in sequential order. It's important to stay in the middle of the rings, as a collision with the devices will require us to start the run from the beginning again. If you
you encounter difficulties in maneuvering your craft, you can decrease your speed to give you more time to react to directional changes in the run. Yeah, I think it'll be fine at full speed. Kiss the run, countdown commencing. Five, four, three, two, one. Engage. The only issue I might have is the fact that ah, the ship is so tight. If that makes sense. Like the turning of it is so heavy feeling. It's not very responsive. You know, that's to say the least. Whoa, hey. I don't know what happened there. That was a bit of lag. I'm just going to fly this way diagonally. I was trying to make it so I would end up pitching up, but no. Okay, is that good? That's good. Right, cool. Although I'm pretty sure they probably would want this test to be done uh, with me staying level in one plane so they can test if the thrusters are working correctly. But, whatever. Oh, you're making them not work. That's fine. I see what you're doing there. You're tricking me. I'm trying to make me crash because my ship's too wide. Well, it's not going to happen. Too smart for you. Oh, okay. Turbo engage. Oh. There we go. Great job, pilot. That was a successful run. Now let's move on to the third part of our test. Our third test will take us through the functions of the HUD heads up display. The X prototype is equipped with a oh. powerful targeting system connected to the onboard So sorry they're going to tell you. That's fine. You can target objects in space by maneuvering your craft so that the objects you wish to target appear within the proximity of the crosshair directly in front of you. When that is done, press the target button to receive basic information I believe about that your would target. Be key. To receive extended information on your target, press your information button. The onboard computer will provide data stored in the internal memory circuits relevant for your target. We have placed a number of remote-controlled drones in your close proximity. Maneuver your spacecraft to their location and target them one by one. You can toggle your target to the next object in view by pressing your toggle target button. Once you have a drone Don't targeted, know that would be, press the information button. The test will proceed when all drones have been targeted and examined. Video enhanced singularity engine time accelerator okay. not installed. Is it target now there we locked go. on? Drone target now locked. Target. Well done, pilot. The next step in our procedures will be to launch the ship's remote controlled camera probe. Locate and target an object. Thereafter, press your camera launch button to send off your camera towards the target. The image will be projected directly onto your retina. And you will therefore not Ooh. be able to see your cockpit and surroundings. Use the light leads to my retina. That's horrible. As you might accidentally collide with any obstacles while viewing the camera images. You can rotate the camera probe around the target object either counterclockwise or clockwise by pressing the rotate camera left, rotate camera right buttons. It is also possible to zoom in and out on the target object by pressing the zoom camera in, zoom camera out buttons. Have a go. While your camera is launched, you can press the toggle target button to move the camera to the next oh, nearest it? object. You can interrupt the camera transmissions by pressing the normal cockpit view button. This will also instruct the camera to return to your ship. All stations, I need a sit rep. The bio readings are fine and normal. Communications what the fine, hell? Sir. Why is there an explosion? Still experiencing some abnormal oh, you blew up your engine, sir. We are currently checking the software for any problems. I see no reason for aborting the test procedures, sir. Very well. Really? Starward engines. Proceed. Oh. Now for the fourth test in our procedures, pilot. These procedures will take us through the ship's weapon system. The X Proto is equipped with the most powerful laser cannon ever developed and two really? zero gravity designated missiles. These weapons are mainly designed to destroy space junk and smaller asteroids. To fire the laser, press the fire button on your controls. To fire yes. missiles, press the launch missile button on your controls. Don't bother trying just now, as the missiles haven't been fitted on your craft yet. First step in the weapons procedure is to locate and target an object. Okay. We have placed remote-controlled drones in the close surroundings. Find them, target them, and shoot them down with your laser. Okay, they look mildly powerful, even though they're not, obviously. 
But unlike in uh, other X Games, the only when they're destroyed, some drones will release a small cargo container. You can target these containers to get information about the contents and pick them up by opening the cargo bay when you're very close to them. Remember to close your cargo bay in case you don't pick anything up, since your shields will be down. The X Proto is very vulnerable because of this. You open and close the cargo bay by pressing the Operate Bay button. If the contents of the container are specifically designed for the X Proto, they will be automatically fitted. If not, they will be stored in the cargo bay. It is possible for you to eject cargo from the cargo bay. Cycle the cargo marker by pressing the Shift Cargo button and press the Operate Bay button to eject the marked cargo. Congratulations. You just picked up some missiles for your craft. They will oh, okay. be fitted automatically and you can use them to shoot down the next target. To use the missiles, you need to have a target lock on an object. Once an object is targeted, launch the missiles by pressing the launch missile button. I'll the tell you the button. Will automatically oh, hold it on the target. Is. However, if the missile runs out of fuel before it hits the target, it will self-destroy. Pretty basic well, stuff he's telling you about. Which Might can only be destroyed by missiles. They must all be destroyed for the test to proceed. Cargo bay now contains Beluga missile. Ooh, the Cargo Luga. bay empty. Um, I hope not. Target now locked on. Drone. A remotely controlled. Nope. I was wondering if I could fire it with. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Target so I'm gonna have to use my keyboard, it seems. No, 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 no. It's cool. There. Maybe I can keep these missiles. That would be nice. Well Excellent. Done, pilot. The weapon system seems to be working just fine. All station status, please. We oh. are measuring a slightly I've lost control. higher pulse. Just the excitement, I guess. All bios are go. All signals are loud and clear. Nothing but the usual static. Comms are go. Uh, we are still debugging the engine analysis software, sir. Yeah, there are some readings mm. which simply cannot be true. It must be a problem with the software. Hold on. My team has just told me they found a small problem in the data evaluation core. The problem should be fixed. We're doing an engine simulation. We expect to be go in one minute. Very well. Pilot, I assume you already know this, but official procedures require me to tell you once again. The X Proto Starcraft is equipped oh. with a special space jump device. It is a technology derived from the ancient jump gates made by our ancestors hundreds of years ago. This device allows the craft equipped with it to travel from point A to point B in a matter of a split second. If this technology proves successful, it will change the way we humans travel forever. Indeed. We have fed the onboard computer with the coordinates necessary for the jump. We need to make sure that this is all coordinated, so I want you to follow my commands to the letter. Understood? Sure. Systems, what is the situation with the engine anomalies? We just finished the simulation, and the results are back to normal, sir. A small miscalculation that didn't take solar winds into consideration. Systems are go. Unless mm -hmm. you feel we should double check. No, no, there's too much at stake. We can't afford to delay this test any there's longer. There's too much at All stake. You should cancel the test and check it. Every five seconds, starting with bio, comms, and systems. <sighs> Commence countdown on my command. Such Pilot, idiots. Your orders are to initiate the jump when the countdown reaches zero. We will monitor the whole procedure and we can abort immediately should any problem arise. When the jump initiates, it will take the device 10 seconds to reach the energy level needed for the jump. How do I now see then the jump? you will instantly find yourself at the destination point on coordinate 263-84. Ready? All stations stand by. I'm not seriously Engaging telling jump me. procedure in 10, 9, 8, 7, I'm going to take a stab six, in the dark and guess then. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, or press nothing. Engage. Jump device charging at Okay, 10%. press nothing. That's cool. 30, 40, See, it was a while back, I did that. 60, 70, 80, 90. Jumping. Adrenaline level rising. 1.5 over normal. Pulse is rising. That makes sense. EEG steady. EKG normal. Static increasing. We are losing signal. There's magnetic interference. Countermeasures applied. They are not working. Engines look good. Computers look good. Oh my god, there it is again. Do you see it? Right there. It doesn't look good. 
Can we get a fix on the problem? <laughs> the what? Mission command. Systems here. Abort jump procedures. I repeat, abort jump procedures. Doesn't anybody hear me? Abort! Abort! Well, GG, we're all dead. System check systems out of order. Well, say hello to the end. Currently I have absolutely no control. Jumped right in front of a freighter, coincidentally. TL class... Audio channel contains unknown language. Ah, uh, we have a communication problem. Please repeat. Receive. Universal translation computer learning. I do not understand you. Please repeat. Okay, now it's completely jittering. But. Earth Fleet Test Pilot, rank number 501X. Uh, what, what is going on? Okay, no problem. Salavi Phoenix, destroyer ship. You are of Margot origin. We thought you were Xenon, or maybe working for a split. I am from the planet Earth and I am lost. We are you nothing of it. We must investigate more. Stay where you are whilst we scan your onboard computer files. Okay. No problem. We are scanned by Talavi Phoenix. Destroyer ship. Phoenix is this place Earth. We know not of it. Uh Earth, ten by twenty-two. Uh ten point twenty-two by uh four twenty-three by twenty-two three uh two twenty-three by twenty-two thirty. You must have heard of the stars. Uh, on your st must have on your star map. Um, what is this system called? Okay. How did I? How did I get here? How do I get back? I suggest you get back the same way as you got here. <laughs> what am I doing here? What? Uh, I was supposed to go completely uh, to blah 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 to completely different coordinates. Ship like shields, ship it explodes immediately. Uh, 
Hey, what? Do I owe you, Kratos? What is this Tladi company, anyway? How many other races live here, anyway? Can you help for free? Charge, you do not understand the importance of profits. Are you sure you're not from Argon? <laughs> Why should I start to make profit? You suggest. Suggest only I suggest one hundred credits so you can trade. Later you pay back the cost of the shield and this three thousand five hundred credits altogether. Um when do I have to pay you back? Um, suppose I don't agree. <gasps> dun dun da. Do you have pirates? Um, what do you mean, even if I could navigate? How do I navigate? Seems that it's having information actually accessing voice files, it seems. Anyway, uh, what are you downloading to my onboard? Uh, wait, uh, yeah, what are you downloading onto my onboard here? Can I trust you? Well, I can see a base station down there in the bottom right. I think I'll be fine for. Do I have to pay for the extra information? How do I get started? <laughs> um, where do I buy and sell? Um, when do I start? Yep, indeed I will. Um, where do I get a new weapon? Laser.
Um, what are the Xenon? Ah, uh, what type of factory? I press shift H to get tips like this one. Before docking at a factory or trading station, you must have first landing permission. Dock at the station and press C. Ah, uh, target the station and press C to make a request. Ah, uh, don't fly too fast uh, into the gate of a factory or station. Trading between factories can get you a higher profit than trading with the space station. Ah, uh, you want to have a closer look at something? Use your video enhancement goggles to zoom in on every object. Uh, use the alt key. Also configurable. Attacking enemies of one race, sea sector will increase your notoriety towards them. Uh, this way you can later trade with a race that opinion does not allow you to land in the beginning. Um, but anyway... Video we, no, we don't have a video enhancement goggles. Installed. Why are you trying to say that we could use video enhancement goggles when we don't even have them? Grrr. Anyway, what is this Shield factory? Critical. Yeah, unfortunately I don't have much of a choice. Either go quickly or... You know, go slowly and take bloody forever to get to the nearest factory. Target now locked on to Lottie's base equipment dock. Okay, um, I don't think that's the best place for me to go to start with, honestly. But whatever, we'll dock and save it, and I'll think about what to do. Also, this is getting mental. No oh, shaky cam! I'm sorry about the shaky cam, but it's the only way I can go fast. Uh, come on. Please, stop before we vomit. Blah. Right, anyway. Let's slow down now. Um, Turbo okay, other side of the station. That's fine. Okay. The Teladi space equipment dock sees well. You are talking to the operative. Please dock as soon as you get green position light. Turbo okay, thank engaged. you. Oh, it's like a really old version of the song. I'm also trying to be careful because the shields are so low. Successfully docked. Thank you. I feel welcome. Connection to local trading hmm. network established. So currently we don't really have any shielding apart from this one megawatt shield. Which I don't think we can remove without dying. I could be wrong, but I don't know, honestly. I don't think there's any real point in having the one megawatt shield. But again, honestly, I have no idea. Insufficient credit products are not bought. Hmm. Unfortunately, I cannot see how much money One I've got either. Insufficient credits. Which is kind of annoying. Oh, no! I'm... This is the Teladi Space Equipment I'm curious, Dark. did I save that? You are talking to the automated interaction system. Make your request. This is positive. Please Let me talk. talk. As soon as you get green position lights. Oh, uh, come on. I honestly don't know how you do anything, honestly, now I think about it. Her. Successfully. 
Let's be honest though, one megawatt shields are not going to do anything. Local trading network established. Uh, save? No, can't this save? Laser is used in I honestly don't know how you save. I'm going to try and find out how to save. Turbo engaged. Give me a second, um... How, no do you, rockets. how do you get to the map? Uh, F8 to enter the option menu. Okay. Self uh, every trading station sells salvage insurance so that we can restore your ship and status later if something goes wrong. Trading station. Okay, trading station. Ah. Uh, You the trading station here? I'm guessing so, but I honestly don't know. Ah! Shields critical. Uh, yeah, I'm probably just gonna sell the shield when I can, honestly. Because this shield is king of pants. Come on. Um, I don't know how many shield bays we actually have. Target now locked on to Ladi trading station. Right. We seem to be traveling about um, two meters per second, I'd say. So this is going to take us... Another 70 seconds? That can't be right. Really? Ugh. That's an optimal. Oh boy, this is going to be quite a journey. But yeah, um, I'm hoping to get a Singularity Engine Time Accelerator soon. Probably trade out the shields, honestly, for it, because one megawatt shields are basically nothing. To be perfectly honest. And if I end up in a firefight, I don't want one megawatt shields. I want a minimum of a uh, five megawatt shield. Minimum. Absolute bare minimum, I'm talking. But hey, we'll have to wait and see, I guess. In the meantime, we'll just make our way to this trading dock, dock it, and hopefully I can save? Oh, I would really like to save. Okay, come on. I'm also going to try and look into the frame rate issues I seem to be possibly having while recording. I can see fine myself, but it looks like the recording's skew left a touch. As soon as you get green position lights. Turbo engaged. Uh, turbo's not engaged. I'm just keeping the ship quite quick, computer. Uh, no, bail, 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 bail. <coughs> There we go. Successfully docked. Right, are you gonna let me save? You're not gonna let me save, are you? You're not gonna let Connection me save. Right? To local trading <gasps> I can save here. No, wait, no, I can't. I just saw that as saving for some reason. Um okay, F eight. Uh No, that's load. What? Help! I am so confused, honestly, but I am going to probably leave at... Oh no, there's salvage insurance. 10 credits. I guess I'll pay that. Why not? So, until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed. And, yeah, I'm interested to see where this goes, honestly. I just kind of wish that I didn't have to pay 10 credits to save the game. But yeah, sure, I'll see where it goes. So until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed.